Have you ever wanted to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Well, that might be impossible, but making rainbows is not. Today, we are gonna make some rainbows and then we'll talk about the science behind it, what a rainbow is and how we were able to make them. Come on, let's go find the end of a rainbow. All right, here's what we need to make our rainbow. We need a sunny spot. It can be inside, in a window, it can be outside, just somewhere with some pretty intense sun. We need a large piece of white paper or a poster board, a small box, and a clear drinking glass filled with water. Let's make our rainbow. We're gonna set the white paper on the floor in the sunshine. Try to get it about 10-ish feet from the window if you're using a window. Put the box bottom at the edge of the paper and put the glass on the box. Look at the paper behind the box and what do you see? There's a rainbow. Now try some different things. Try experimenting with the amount of water you put in the glass. Try experimenting with where you set the glass on the box. Try experimenting with how high you set the glass of water or with different shapes of glasses. All different things you can experiment with to find those rainbows. Now that we've made our rainbows, where do they come from? Let's talk about it. Rainbows don't just appear out of nowhere, even if they seem like they do. Rainbows happen when sunlight hits water or a prism. Sunlight is what we call white light. And even though it looks white, it's actually made up of seven different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is kind of a shade of blue, and violet or purple. When we see sunlight, we're actually seeing different waves of light all coming at us. Our eye sees them all together as white but when the white light hits that water at the right angle, it's a little like the white light hits a wall and bends through it in different directions. This is called refraction. The red light goes one way, the violet light goes another. Orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo all end up in the middle. Because they're going in many different directions, they're not hanging out together anymore as white light, and we can see them as their individual colors. It's the same thing that happens when you shine light through a prism. The prism bends the light and cuts it into its individual colors or makes them change into their individual colors. But rainbows happen after it rains. Well, what's up with that? Well, to make a rainbow, you need two things. Something for the light to crash into and break apart and the light itself. In the middle of a rainstorm, it's pretty dark and cloudy, right? And on a hot, sunny day, there's no water in the air for the light to hit. Rainbows happen during that special time when there are still water droplets in the air after the rainstorm, but the sun has come out from behind the clouds. The sun shines into the water droplets, breaks apart into its individual colors, and spreads across the sky into a glorious rainbow. That's why you can also find rainbows by waterfalls. Most of the water in a waterfall goes straight down, but some of it sprays out into the air where the sun can catch it. Sun hits the water droplets, it bends, or remember that fancy word refracts, and splits into its different colors, creating a rainbow. Once you know the water trick, you don't have to wait for rain to see a rainbow. You can make your very own rainbow in any patch of sun. Knowing that is a little bit like carrying a rainbow around in your pocket, isn't it? If you want to learn more cool stuff about science, hit the subscribe button. We do a new unit every month and that unit has a science experiment, an art project, sensory bins, fun facts, all kinds of cool stuff. And if you just want more science stuff in the meantime, check out my science playlist.